Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a new build video. Today we're building a vet and I decided to have a little bit of fun and I got a little bit excited and inspired by the whole idea of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs and then I thought about animals and then I thought about farms and then I thought barn house. So we are making a barn house vet. So essentially it's meant to be like an old farm was kind of built in an area that ended up being a bit of a town center. So this is like right near the wharfs in Brindleton Bay. And then over time as it built up, this barn still sat there. And then eventually it was bought by a family who turned it into a vet. So I like that, it's like a renovated barn. And for a while I was just mucking around with different sizes of roofs and what kind of roofs I wanted to use. And in the end, I decided to just go with this pretty traditional barn shape. And I thought I could actually achieve this with the new roofing styles. And then I realized, you know what? It's not gonna happen. I need to do the two levels with the roof on top. And that was the best thing possible. So as you guys know, in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, you, you do have the opportunity to have cats and dogs in your gameplay, kittens or puppies or elder, elderly dogs and cats. And the other massive part of gameplay is that you can run your own vet and it works a lot like Dine Out. Um, so if you guys haven't seen any gameplay, that's pretty much what this expansion is all about. So this vet can be used as a vet in your game. Uh, all you need to do is download it from the gallery under the username Deligracy and then just purchase it as a vet clinic inside your games. And I like it. I think it's got all of the required things. Actually, I uploaded it first without fulfilling all the requirements for this lot. And then I re-uploaded it with in brackets complete. And that's the one that has all the requirements. So don't freak out if you download the right one. Uh, you can just add, I think it was just some bins. That was all I forgot. Um, but yeah, probably best just to get the completed one because it's all ready to go. And I tried to use only a restricted amount of packs, only base game, cats and dogs and get to work because get to work has a lot of items that are so fantastic for community lots. I wanted to use that. However, I did sneak in a couple of other things because I always do. I always muck up and I'm like, oh no, I didn't mean to put that in there. Like the last challenge we did where we were only allowed to use three packs I think it was the three pack challenge you guys were like okay you use this pack this pack this pack this pack this pack and I was like damn it <laughs> oh man uh oh yeah I know what I did use that was not from get to work or cats and dogs or base game it's this brick pattern this brick pattern is from Soda Eleven, I believe but I just thought it was really nice. So I kept it. <laughs> so there you go. You may need to have different bricks on there, but there are bricks in base game. I think that's the only item you'll have an issue with though. Just that wallpaper. Uh, so yeah, if you have get to work, cats and dogs, then you will be able to download this pretty easily. If you just have cats and dogs, then there'll be a few items missing, but nothing major. It's mostly cats and dogs furnishings. And yeah. So basically this barn is coming together now. I didn't want it to be uh, super basic. I wanted it to have some nice detailing on there. That's why we're adding some of the columns and also some of those freezes and stuff like that. Uh, the white lines around it to make it look like a more structured building. So I just thought it made it look a little bit more interesting. And I did want it to also have an element of it looking quite new because it has been renovated and it does need to be up to a certain standard to be able to run as a vet clinic. So yeah, these new awnings I was trying to use as well, but they just didn't really suit the barn feeling. Uh, so instead I use these little things. Uh, I always forget what they're called like cornerstone things. So I pop in all of those in and I would have liked to put some vines around the house, but then the ones I wanted to use were from the vampires pack. So I was like, well, girl, you can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, also you guys, I had a really lovely day today. I don't know what it is, but today I'm, I've been very, very energized. I woke up at 5.30 because I had gym at quarter past six. I try and get to body attack class twice a week and the classes are at 6.15. 
So the reason why I go so early is because I have a couple of friends I always have breakfast with after gym and it's like our reward for going to do that class. If you guys have done Body Attack before, it's offered in a lot of different countries by Les Mills. Uh, it is full on. It is a big cardio workout. Although that's not to say that if you're not very fit, you can't do it. That's definitely not the case at all because you, it's one of those classes where anyone's welcome at any fitness level and you're still going to have a great workout even if someone who's never worked out in their life is standing next to someone who's an athlete. Both of those guys will get the same amount of workout. It'll be difficult for both of them, but you just go at your own pace. So that's what's really good about it. And this sounds like a sponsored video, doesn't it? Because I'm like telling you guys all about body attack, but it's not. I just really like it. Anyway, back to my day of being energized. So I woke up super early and I had a lot on today. Well, I had things to do today. So today I wanted to get Christmas tree and decorations. I've never owned my own Christmas tree and decorations, just my family. And I thought, you know what? I'm in this apartment. I want a Christmas tree. I want a Christmas tree in my videos. <laughs> so I went Christmas tree shopping and decoration shopping. I came home, looked in the mirror. I had glitter all over my face. There's glitter all over the apartment. Pat, my boyfriend came over before and he was like, is the glitter outside of your door deliberate? <laughs> I was like, no, there's just glitter everywhere. But hey, glitter makes makes life sparkle. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, so I did that. Then I needed to get a little bit of work done and then I had to go, well, I need, I wanted to go catch up with a friend who I hadn't seen for ages, Kat. And then I went to see my friend Kathy's drama performance showcase, which was incredible. I love watching drama students perform, I think. Drama students are so talented and I'm sure some of you guys do drama and acting and I just think it's I, it's an art that I really respect. I respect most of the arts in terms of creative arts, like acting, music, uh, music performance, dance, design, graphic design, architecture, all of that I really, really love. Uh, the only thing I'm not great at appreciating is probably written creativity. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's stories and books that I love, but probably because I'm not a particularly good writer or reader, not bad at all, but I'm very average. I don't feel like I have the education to really assess if a book is really well written or not. I like a good storytelling, but I'm not very good at, f at appreciating really well written books. Like Harry Potter for me is like creme de la creme. And apparently those books are poorly written, but the, they're in terms of storytelling, incredible. So I don't know. Anyway, so I did that, that was great. And then I met up with a lady from Nintendo who I'm also just friends with. It wasn't really like a work thing, but I went to like a makeup night at a store called David Jones in Australia because a brand that is sold at this store has collaborated with Nintendo and Mario. So we went there as fans of Mario, not really as Nintendo taking me and she wasn't wor at work or anything. It was just so happened that this brand got into a collaboration with Nintendo. So we had so much fun trying all the makeup and stuff. And I got home, had dinner and next minute, it's 11, 16 PM when I'm recording this. So, and I'm fully energized, you guys. I don't know what happened. I've been eating better. Uh, and I've picked up exercise again. That was quite a long time when I wasn't getting enough exercise, probably for about two months. Uh, I don't know. Winter really got to me in Australia because our seasons are opposite to all of the world. If you guys are confused by that, but yeah, winter really got to me, I think. And I got a bit sick, uh, particularly after traveling to the U S after I got back, I felt like I was sick a bit and yeah. So it's, I guess what I'm trying to say to you guys is I'm feeling energized <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I swear my builds have to be the biggest rambling hot mess on YouTube. Like I'm just, I don't know. I just chit chat away to you guys. It's just really nice company, I guess, hanging out with y'all. 
Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to tell me your life story <laughs> or what you did today, feel free. Love reading your comments. That would be great. Anyway, back to the build. Let's talk about the build for a second now that we're like 10 minutes in. So these are the vet objects. Basically, I think there's ooh, four vet objects that you actually use as a vet. So there's that x-ray machine we've just put in the corner. There's the examination table we've just placed down. Uh, we're going to have a few of those, actually. I think we have three all together. And then there's also like a medicine chemistry lab table thing where you can make medicines and cures for your animals. Or you can actually make things that do the opposite to curing animals, which is very, very naughty. Uh, so, yeah. Also, this carpet, a lot of people actually think this isn't base game carpet, but it is. It was in a free update, so if you guys have updated your game since launch, you do have that carpet in there. I think it came with, did it come with toddlers when the toddler update happened? I can't quite recall, but I do believe that's base game. If I'm wrong, just type down below wrong in capitals and I'll be like, damn it, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I felt like this, you know what I love about this build? This vet clinic looks realistic to me. Like, obviously it's got a ton of character and how many vets are made out of barns. Okay, maybe that's a little less common, but the actual interior to me looks realistic because it's not perfect. It's kind of got that half you're at someone's house feeling, but at the same time, it is a clinic. It's like the doctor's uh, near mine. It feels like a house. I think it is a house that someone just turned into a doctor's. So it's got a very homely feel about it, which I love. And I like how the different rooms have, you know, the kind of matching curtains that look kind of old with a very modern carpet that's been laid down recently. And yeah. It's just good. I like it. Um, and then upstairs, we're actually going to have like a, a nice, um, more secluded area, I guess. I kind of envisioned that the VIP guests would go upstairs to the upstairs clinic. It's also where the chemical mixing chemistry stations are going to be. So there's a computer up there as well. So some tests can be done upstairs, but it's definitely, for special patients or when they're kind of testing on animals probably well not testing because we don't condone testing on animals obviously but like you know things like making sure medicine is going to work with a particular animal animal maybe after hours or something like that so yeah this is the upstairs area being created and you know, you probably need a pretty wealthy sim to run this vet, vet clinic. I would not call this a starter vet clinic by any means. Uh, I mean, it's got everything. It's got all of the new objects as well, because every object, there is a new version and an old version. Uh, like the old version looks like it's a bit banged up and taped up. So, yeah. I just... And strangely, you guys... I really like the color swatches of the vet equipment. There's not many and they're very bold colors. It's like pink, green, blue, an orangey brownie color and white. And I don't know why, but I really love the bright colors and I'm happy with the white standard color. Like that just makes me happy because realistically, I guess, big equipment like that, that is for a niche business. There's not going to be a whole heap of colorways or a whole heap of stuff. So that's kind of interesting. I love all of these decor objects. All the doggy biscuits are super cute. These statues are just gorgeous. And it kind of looks like someone who works here. This is their more relaxed room of the vet clinic where they've kind of got all the stuff everywhere and dog food on the floor. And it's kind of the area where they don't expect to have all of their customers come up to. So it's secluded in that way. And then, oh, I love all of the furniture of the Sims 4 cats and dogs. These chairs are so cute with the little cushions on them and like that tartan plaid pattern. So adorable. And I thought let's do purple walls for a change. So we've got purple going on. No, it's like this vet clinic isn't out of a design magazine. It's not meant to look super sharp. It's meant to look like 
someone, you know, who's not interior designer, they're like, all right, let's have this wall yellow. Let's paint this wall green. And then upstairs we can have the purple room. <laughs> but I think it's nice. I think it's homely, as I said. Also for the makeup I bought, I know this doesn't interest a lot of you, but for me, when lifestyle meets gaming, I get really excited. So when this makeup brand collaborated with Mario and I bought some of it, um, I actually bought it especially to make a video for you guys, to show you guys, just because it had me so excited. So if you guys are interested in makeup and nice makeup brands, we're going to have a little bit of a play in an upcoming vlog. So I'll be filming that tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. I think it's crossed you guys enjoy it as well. And yeah, because it's just like the most gorgeous makeup range. Uh, and it's even got Princess Peach's palette. Like, come on, you guys. <laughs> so cute. Also, this sectional couch, I... I just love these. They fit so nicely into a diagonal wall area. I love this rug sized up underneath with the table, like all of those colors together work flawlessly. And then out here on the deck, I mean, to be honest, I didn't know what to put on the decking area at a vet. So I thought just a few doggy toys and things just so, you know, you could take your dogs either outside or upstairs to the balcony to play with some toys, but they wouldn't be inside the actual vet upsetting any clients or other pets. And this is one of my favorite tables. I love the trestle table. The trestle table is goals and makes me happy. Love it. Anyway, you guys, let's jump into some screenshots. So here is our vet barn. I think that's actually a vet barn, like a company called Vet Barn here in Australia, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but this is like a legit vet barn. And yeah, so that's the other side of it. The garden's very simple. I deliberately didn't want to put like too much greenery and stuff everywhere because I wanted that farm feeling. Here is the reception area. Looking very homely, a little desk, get to work desk there. Uh, this is the fridge where you can put your creations in there and sell them. Uh, and this is the back door area. So that's a little bit more blank, but this is, let's call this the first consultation room, uh, with the x-ray machine and a examination table. And then this is the other one. So there's actually two examination tables in here. So that's kind of cool. Lots of blue everywhere, color matching. And then upstairs we have the sectional sofa thing and another toilet. There's like four toilets, I think. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please let me know what other builds you would like to see, other videos you would like to see. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a fabulous week too. Um, and yeah, that's the floor plan. Anyway, you guys, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you guys soon. Bye!